Well, it's time again for another all aboard 321 layout update. I have not gotten anything new. Uh, the only major. Uh, first, we'll start out with good news. Um, I have soldered the side rail here. I have soldered it together, as you can see. All the way around. Oh, all the turns. So both inside and outside turns have been soldered. On the ends of the 24 radius turns on the outside, I had to cut some of it off to make it straight. I don't know why they were like that, but uh, oh well. I got that. I got that fixed, and I have also. Let me see if can come around here. You can see I've weathered those wheels, the trucks on two of the beginning, being the engine, train cars. Yeah, what it is. So I think they look pretty good. There are those. those uh, two old Santa Fe Oops, hang on that train Cut that here see that for now I had those two old Santa Fe GP40 engines for my first train set I decided just to go ahead and repaint them it's not the best job this is supposed to be like a Norfolk Southern heritage scheme or something I just repainted those with the paint they don't look they yeah, aren't all that great, but this one was the dummy unit here. This one here <coughs> was a uh, working unit. I dummied it. This one's supposed to be a CSX, but I haven't really done anything to it. But it's a dummy unit, but I didn't completely remove all the power from it. So when you set it on the tracks. See, it rolls just like a dummy unit. But... It still lights up. The, uh, you can't see the back headlight because of all the paint on it. But headlights still lights up. So, I, I like that. Hang on. I don't know why I got stuck on the wall car. I'm going to reveal this real quick. Sorry about this, guys. Okay, and then um, on the ends of the turns, to get it to work properly, I had to just put a little straight stri straight piece of track. Um, over here, I'm just, this is just temporary over here, but I, just, I didn't want to have to put it. I, had bore, I was bored and I had extra foam, so I decided to go ahead and do that. And, uh, you know, keep knocking it over. Hmm. There's that. Got all the rails soldered. Weathered the trucks on two of the bean grain hop. And I painted these. And um, I think someone wanted to see my uh, Penn Central 86 foot auto parks car, so here it is. Penn Central. It's a uh, green color. Uh, this one. That's I put Katie's on it and I had to duct tape them because for some reason the couplers didn't come with it. So I'm still need to put the other one off after, after about a month. I've had this and I still only put one coupler on. I don't know what these, something's wrong with those. They won't run all that well. And, um, on this one, you might be able to see that, that, that wheel right there. That wheel, it's actually off the ground or off the rails, so I'll have to fix that. 
And on to the bad news. For some reason, my Indiana Railroad SC40-S2, it just won't run at all. I don't know what's wrong with it. Uh, I just, I was using some of the CVs and it just stopped working. So, I'll put in, I'll go 401, which is the local I've selected uh, for it. And as you can see, nothing happens at all. So I don't know if it's a decoder issue or what, but any of you had that happen, uh, go ahead and leave a comment and uh, tell me how you fixed it, if you managed to get it fixed or if you had that problem. Um, so yeah, I wish, because that's a, don't want to waste that much money on a locomotive. I don't know if it's a decoder issue or what, but, so hopefully I'll get that fixed sometime soon. And I uh, also weathered. I weathered this train car here. You can see it's pretty much it's just dulled down. It's a uh, it's a G. I can't read that, but it's a GPSX number four six six. Um, bulkhead flat car with. The little side things on it for like pulp or pulp wood or something, but yeah, I just lightly weathered this down, weathered the trucks. Let's see, so yep, that's pretty much the layout update. Uh, so nothing has changed. I haven't got any new train cars, but so see ya.